and then a little pat on the back from myself to myself i do that to myself is great that, that's how i celebrate my little victories yeah. i i physically do that to myself yeah. when i'm alone and i no teach that by the way really? i get my clients to do this physically i said chalo chalo yeah tum nahi karoge to kaun karega <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah good morning people welcome Hi. to the show wonderful to be here it's a pleasure to have you over here okay first thing tell me something have you heard this one before have people told you that you've got an amazing voice have you ever heard this have you ever been told that you know you've got a wonderful powerful voice so you should be a life coach have you ever been told this actually my professor said that really in college because you've been doing this since two plus decades right yeah. so before that 30 I, four years no this was in my training right. that my professor said to me that uh, you know you have a good voice i had never thought about it so no one does it until someone tells you yeah right? exactly and so much else happened along with that sure. like it was him who pointed out certain features in my face and you know things like that because he was um, a researcher hmm. of the structure of okay. the body and how that relates to emotion right. isn't that amazing right, right. actually my next workshop is on this It's perfect it's called face language so uh, he was the first one to tell me about how i could be pretty intimidating so i should watch how i so uh, after seeing most of your videos i wouldn't call you intimidating because you haven't put yourself out there like that, like that. but i'm pretty sure it can be very scary can if you be. want to right because you yeah. have that thing in your voice that impact because uh, so i was i was listening to this video of yours introspection right that was the first experience mm-hmm. like ritu experience right i mm-hmm. heard so the pause Uh, the tempo everything your voice connects like it's kind of subcutaneous right so mm. something that you hear and something that goes under the skin mm. so that's why i was also saying that you should have a podcast that was the main reason that you should your voice has that in. you know abhimanyu it's um, why i say that it's probably subconscious is because i really feel and that's my experience that when you're authentic right. you know when you're really uh, heartful in an exchange right uh i i think it just it's it's a natural that happens with it your yeah. voice your energy that the voice carries right right you know or um the energy and the tone of voice is part of that sincerity of that moment yes you know and that connection that you feel with whoever right. you're conversing with so it's safe to say so that or you're... even a subject right you know when there is that much passion mm. in what you feel yeah and there is a certain amount of experience that backs that right. up you know it is your experience which right. makes it authentic is what i'm saying so you were it's safe you know? to assume and say that you were born to do this that you're doing I, yeah right. i've discovered it in a while and then that is what i mean by nothing is random yes you know why did i come into this right i mean um, coming from the kind of family that i came from yes i um, you know was never encouraged to do right. anything like this it's a business family right. they would rather that i worked in the company as an executive sure, yeah. etc yeah, but that. emotional work and psychological i was told quite often that you know uh, you you'll change you'll go nuts yeah. don't even go <laughs> yeah. there yeah. so you know that uh, was um, uh, what uh, that was the kind of environment Right. But there were many other things that led to it, Abhi Manu, mm. and that was that I was very uh, severely handicapped as okay. a child, all right, all right. and uh, I couldn't breathe. I could barely breathe. What, what, what was, was the, the condition? Asthma, okay, right. But I was on, on an oxygen tank, and I was. Uh, it it was it wasn't possible for me to live like young people oh, that's a tough live yes. etc and i was looking for something to help myself right see now in retrospect yeah. right. as i look back i can see why that happened because right. if it hadn't happened right. i would not have done this right. i would have been you know a painter i could have been a chef i right. could have all those things that i normally do right i was a fashion designer for a while i right. was a landscape artist okay. i was so i did many of those things right. but nothing felt as real to me hmm. and nothing felt like i could grow old with it right you know right that's It very would, important yeah, that's very important i wanted to have a relationship With, your, with my work yes, and i your craft do. yes i do yes so it is my companion right this work right and hence i say that whatever 
whoever I am with. Right. It doesn't matter what age. Or yes. Sometimes people ask me, what age group do you deal with? Right. And I say from two to toothless. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's that just... An, very smart. Two you know, to toothless. Right. You know, that's because age is just a number, really. Yeah. It's the energy of this person that right. you're dealing with. Right. And um, I, I feel that we are all uh, magnetic in nature. Yep. So uh, whatever if we, we choose to be, if we choose yeah, to be, yeah. no, if we choose to be aware of it, we are magnetic right. because no matter what yes. it is, right. I am bringing something to this exchange right now, right. Yeah. you know, and whatever I give, right. I will get the equivalent back. Yes. Yeah. Most of us are not aware how magnetic we are. Yeah. You know, perfect. so yeah. if I'm getting. Uh, a, a lousy output right. or if I'm not getting something that I want yeah. from out there yes. I need to go in here to see mm. what could I change within right. myself right. rather than look for the outside to change right. and that is the basis of the work yes so do you have like considering what you do like people who need healing right internal healing right they come to you do you have bad days because you said that you found something that is your companion, your craft becomes your companion. And I don't think it's always happy-go-lucky and it's always hunky-dory, it's always perfect. You know, even with your craft, sometimes days are really bad, right? They're bad, they just... But you love that part as well, right? It's It has just become a part of your routine that you aren't, you know, you don't dislike at all. You know, I'd like to... I, I uh, am very conscious of the power of words. So I think words have energy. Sure. So bad and good is not something that I relate with very much okay. at the moment. Okay. I may have some 25 years ago, but not today. All right. So I feel that every so-called uh, not good enough right. uh, event or not day enough. as Works, such yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is an inspiration for me to do something about it. Sure. It's a learning experience. Yeah. It's going to teach me something if that's what I'm looking for. Yes. Yeah. And another thing to answer you that if there's anything that I have experienced which is lasting for me right. is that, uh, you know, we are not looking to be perfect. We are all imperfectly perfect. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. But I am looking and focused on what is the win in this situation. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So with that, my turnaround time is very quick. Right. Yeah. I don't hang out in the spaces exactly. that would be called bad or right. negative right. or, you know, whatever. So the awareness sharpens over a period sure. of time sure. with experience. Yes. yes. You know, you see the crux and the cause of what started yeah. this thought. Right. Hmm? And how because it can be ultimately, right. what I am um, sharing or teaching as a skill, right. even right. with my work, is awareness. Yes. You know? Yes. So, as we sharpen that awareness mm. and take responsibility for it, yes. Yeah? Of our own action. It's always there. Yeah. I can choose it anytime. Yes. You know, that's where the power of choice comes from. Will, yes. You see? Yes. So I am uh, in that being conscious of what is the possibility right now. Hmm. What is the potential in this particular situation, event, exchange, relationship, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when I focus my attention there, that energy expands hmm. as energy does. Right. You see? And uh, my answer comes. In fact, that is the basis of the work. Yes. That I... Um, the the difference between other therapeutic methods yes. and what I do right. is that I uh, am not an authority for someone else's life. I know hmm. that very well. Yes. Yeah. I know that you are your own authority. Right. You are using me to facilitate your ability to help yourself. Right. That is what you're really doing. Right. Yeah. That is what you come for, and why. Right. Do we choose someone outside of us? Hmm. Because two energies coming together don't make just two. They make a higher, more potentially vibrant energy. 
how that do you is mean? going to, to attract move. more people or how do you mean no no things? when i'm working with somebody right you can read a couple of books and try to solve your own issues right right yeah yeah, yeah. but when you come to someone like me right. your energy plus mine right. is creates a much higher energy yeah. a much stronger vibration right. right which helps us go beyond that limitation has that comfort we got something to do with it Oh, absolutely. Right. Trust has something to do with it. Comfort has something sure. to do with it. Yeah. And that sincerity and that authenticity has a lot to do with it. Sure. Because at this moment when we are talking, right. you're actually feeling yes. the, this energy yes. between us. Right. Yeah. It's a very um, unbiased, yes. uh, very pure sort of exchange. Exactly. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um, so uh, going back to what i do which is right. a different kind of therapy right. uh, i use the body as my um uh, as my uh, database right yeah uh, i use something called precision muscle testing which in some cases is called kinesiology kinesiology i'll, I'll sorry to cut you off in the middle but yeah. i really need to ask this thing so I would also like you to explain to me and the listeners because you know most of the, I don't want anyone who doesn't know you to confuse you with just another motivational speaker who has a YouTube channel. I don't want that because I've seen the difference. I've felt it, right? So because uh, I'm sure you know there are 10 year olds on YouTube. There are 10 year olds who start their video like, let me tell you something about life. 10 year olds. And it scares, you know what's the scary part? That they are good at it. Like their articulation and you know their oratorical skills. They're good. So you feel like taking advice from a 10 year old. So this is where things go really shady. So I really want you to explain kinesiology and the qualifications so that, you know, everyone gets to know. You said it. You <laughs> said it. Like someone comes and says, let me tell you. Right. And I don't do that at all. I know that every tiny experience you've had. Right. Every time you think, speak, right. feel, right. eat or right. drink. Mm -hmm. This body experiences that right. and makes a record of it. That is your memory in your cells. Huh. I am tapping into the memory of that cell. Cellular memory. All right. It's cellular memory. All right. So how am I right. an authority hmm. for your life? Sure. I yes. know that everything that you have experienced right. plus the other side of that experience which is what you want to really hmm. discover for right. yourself right. Yes. you're using me as a method to discover it that's all right. i'm just facilitating that hmm. but i can never know right what's best for you right you do right and i by testing your body hmm. i am really out of the picture right your body uh helps me mm -hmm. and guides me right. to what you most want. I deal with the body's priorities mm. by testing you, right. not by making an educated guess. Right. I can't say what is best for Abhimanyu. Mm. Abhimanyu knows though. Right. And I can test what he knows so more than what he can do. Mm. That is why he comes to me. Very interesting. Yes. It is very, very non-intrusive. Right. I never go to any place in my client's body right. that they don't want to go to yet or okay. they're not ready right. to face. Right. Yeah. But the body is the only decider of that. Right. And when yeah. you say I don't go to places of my client's body, we only mean, we purely mean it on a musculoskeletal level level right? oh, yeah. all right all yeah. right yeah because just to, to to tell you the method of how we function right. you come in right. and you're you you want to make something better in your life right isn't that why anyone comes most of whether them, it's yes. a physical problem or right. whether it's a chronic ailment right. whether it's an allergy whether it's a relationship whether right. it's a stress issue anxiety depression right yeah. doesn't matter what it is yeah for any so, reason a person has a shrink let's exactly say. Right, right. or a doctor. doctor you go to a doctor for, for medical for, issues for anything right right okay. you want to make it better hmm. i call my work the getting better series because <laughs> we're all we're all looking to You're get very good better. At copywriting <laughs> <laughs> we're we're all looking to get better yes. so when you come in 
and say that you know I uh, have a certain amount of stress or I uh, have a, a relationship uh, anxiety right. or I can never hold on to a job yeah. or I don't have the confidence that I, I, I really need in right. order to accomplish something in my life yes. I will test for the priority emotion that you're feeling hmm. I don't know it yes this is what you have intellectually said to me hmm. The body has a totally different agenda at times. Okay. It's very, very fascinating to discover the language that the body is saying to okay. you. So it communicates via muscle response. Okay. And when I test right. for yes and no responses okay. or stress responses in right. the body, right. which is a weakness or a strength in a muscle, okay. it keeps guiding me to what is best. It's like a lie detector test almost hmm. but it's for emotion only hmm. all right yeah and this is what you so learn from is, kinesiology this is yeah this is precision muscle testing right. there is a physical component of kinesiology which okay. only tests for energy going through your uh, glands and muscles and organs okay. and you right. know for better health physical right. health right. etc but the marvelous teachers that i had in in California while I was there I was right. there for almost 10 years right. uh, just learning from them hmm. how to communicate right. with the body right. body's truth hmm. so see when I don't know what it is that you're feeling and right. I know that your body does right. we are asking the body to guide us and it does Yes. Yeah. I'm getting out of that authority space. Right. So you'll never get this out of me that let me tell you what it is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. I don't. And you don't even wish to know, you know? that, right? So we find a priority emotion that right. the body is really dealing yeah. with. Yeah. For instance, you might say that I am um I'm really angry. Right. You know. Uh, and I'm overwrought because of this anger. Yeah. yeah and it's incensed right. anger. It, and I'm fuming because of this. Right. Now, when I test the body, mm -hmm. I could come to a completely different thing. The anger is the conscious, superficial emotion. Okay. Underneath that, there might be Incident. something that is threatening or disappointing. Right. Yeah. And I'm really frightened. Right. And that makes me very, very angry. So it's a defense mechanism. I feel that I might lose something. Right, right. And that makes me very angry. Yes. But I don't know that. Right. I'm just looking at the anger. Right. Deeper down, there's another level, which is the cellular level. Right. Okay. Which we never visit. Uh, yeah. We're of always. I at don't even the know what you're talking about right now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. to be honest. <laughs> so it's an experience, right. you know? And deep down inside, even beyond that fear mm -hmm. and disappointment, yeah. it may be a feeling that, you know, I feel unimportant. Hmm. That makes me very angry. Right. I feel unacceptable. Right. That makes me very angry. Right. And when I feel that I'm really discouraged or unloved right. and loveless, right. I am fuming. Right. But that's my superficial response. Hmm. It's so painful to go there and accept right. that I may not be cared for. Right. Yeah. That I don't want to visit that. Hmm. But with my assistance, and my energy coupled with yours right. you will not just go there but you will find what it is that this is really attempting to show you right there are always two sides of every emotion is it possible that the person let's say me in this case i always knew the cause but i was just you know either running away from it of course there's too much fear right. and there's too much stress right now so what we're doing here right. by discovering this emotion right. that this my uh, client is feeling right i am really seeing how much stress they have hmm. on this particular thing through your how muscle much testing the it, testing right. it will show you an exact amount of stress that you're feeling hmm. for this particular event or emotion okay. or whatever and all i am focused on is to remove that stress hmm. by doing various things that we are going to do together right. in a session right yeah once the stress is gone hmm. you shift 
brain dominance. You shift from back, back brain, mm-hmm. and this is neurological. I'm uh, saying. Yeah, but I you shift idea. from back brain to front brain. Your Achina. prefrontal cortex right. is where choice exists. Right, right. Alternatives, options, right. newness, right. idea, ideas. Yeah, yeah. Here they are. Right. Unfortunately, ninety-five hmm. percent of the time, right. we are in the back brain. The emotional side. Yeah. Right? No, back brain. Where things the way we've done it before, we will do now. Okay. If someone looks at me like that, if I have got angry since mm-hmm. I was a little five-year-old, mm-hmm. I will do exactly that. Emotionally, mm-hmm. there is no age. Right. Right. When it comes to emotions, yes, we are three years old. Yes. <laughs> Sure. Yes. In whether it's in our excitement, in our enthusiasm, it's in our yeah. interest, in the delight right. that we feel, it's the same. Yeah. We are three years old. Right. Right. Yeah. So most of the time, mm. that back brain, yes. which has been programmed mm. since before the age of seven, yes, huh, that is what we are emotionally. Right. Yeah. Now that's a program. Right. In the brain. Mm. Yeah. We can detach from that program, right? Sure, and yes. that is what I teach. Yes. Yeah? yeah. When we detach from that program, yeah. now I have the ability yes. to actually tap into that potential hmm. that is already there. Yes. It's already there. Right. I'm not giving it to you. There's right. nothing I'm going to inject. Right. Nothing <laughs> genius-like that you're going to yeah. have. Yeah. We are There's all there. There's no secret, right? There's no secret, yeah. really. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So my work, I would say, is like a search for the simple. Hmm. Simple, small ways right. in which we can learn to be better than we were yesterday. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. No perfection here. We aren't going to become. Uh, but what about amb- immortal? What about ambition? So, have you ever uh, faced clients, like met clients, who are excessively ambitious, right? And when you become ambitious, you tend to, you know, uh, I mean, then you're tunnel visioned, and you also become a little negative. Negative. In the I don't think there's anything. That is wrong with any emotion. Right. It is the stress attached to ambition. Hmm. Yeah. It's not ambition itself. Right. It's great. It motivates you. Right. It's like you stress and distress. Right. There are two sides of the same thing. Sure. Yeah. And there's a very fine line. Right. Going, you know, dividing those two. Yeah. So you stress, it keeps me motivated. Right. I was going through you stress when I came to see you today. Right. I was very excited about what was going to happen. Sure, same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was yes. a there was an exhilaration. Yes. You know, and I couldn't wait to come and speak to Ex- you. Likewise. So yeah. that's you stress. Right. Now when I say, Oh my god, will I remember what I have to say and will the interview go well mm. and what will he think of me and will he like me? There we go. That's de- that, what there do you we go. Distress. Distress or distress. And that is the stress that is layered within the body. Can right. you imagine? Have we have? Are there a few seconds in the day right. when we are not thinking? Right. We're I'm thinking just, all the time. Yeah. Whenever I'm awake, it's like ninety-eight percent of those chaos. are programs in the mind. Hmm. Okay. I think like I did yesterday. Right. That's my belief system. Right. Now, where did this belief system start? Where did it originate? It originates before we are seven. Hmm. That is where the brain is like a sponge. It is just absorbing every experience as it is. Right. Yeah. The important thing though to know is that at that time, Hmm. we didn't have the choices to do anything else. Right. Whether it was trauma. Yes whether it was a belief system that I'm the greatest yes. or that I'm the most intelligent right. or whatever. Right. Whatever input we got right. from our environment yes. became a belief system. Right. Yeah, And from then on, I will respond from that mm. belief system. Yes. Yeah. Now, it is so deeply embedded into my body and right. my cells right. 
that I don't think about it. Yeah. It yeah. It's subconscious. Muscle memory. Yeah, it's yeah. subconscious. I don't think about right. it until something happens. Hmm. Like I run into a problem or I have uh, I need to go and address it. Right. Yeah. The fear is too much or the yeah. disappointment is too much right. or there's too much loss. Yeah. You know in my life. Right. So then I need to address that. Right. And the doctors telling me that you know there's really nothing wrong with you hmm. uh, your tests are normal Very common, yes. uh, everything's fine yeah. uh, so then someone would come to someone like me right. i call myself the last resort <laughs> when you <laughs> you ex- yeah. exhausted everything yeah. else right. then you say oh well we maybe you know we should yeah. now why is it so scary why is it so scary why the stigma Right. We'll go to a car mechanic when the car isn't working. Yeah. You know, we'll go to a lawyer when my finances are right. a mess. Right. You know, we'll go to whatever, you know, I'm looking Another for. Another pressing question related to this. Do you think parapsychologists and uh, keen uh, you'll have to say that word again. Uh, what do you, metaphysicians, mm-hmm. right? Do you think they carry a shady image? The way, like there's a stigma attached that they, people still haven't, you know, come to terms with, okay, such thing exists. And but listen, I could run into a bad mechanic. No, he could but, take my engine out sure, and sure, but do something to it. But he's a mechanic at the end of the day who people trust to go to, right? But here I'm talking about a general image in people's mind. You know, people who are aware, it's still... Do you think that is it? Or I think something else. I think that... Uh, again, it's a it's it's a programming. Uh, yeah. We should be able to manage our lives. We should be able to be successful. Yes. We should be able to do that. Something like who taught us this? Something like being which a man. subject yeah. did you learn in school right. that taught you how to deal with disappointment <laughs> when you were wounded right. or when someone used you? Right. Did anyone show you the steps to deal with that? No. Right. It yes. wasn't a subject in school. Yes. Even then, right. I'm saying right. that this is nature's way hmm. of teaching us, you know, these when we come to an obstacle hmm. that we can't overcome, yeah. that is a learning experience. Yes. Now we are going to learn how to overcome that. Right. So in that sense, I am a facilitator hmm. to who guides you right. to go beyond that hurdle right. so that now you will not do the same thing again the right. same way. Sure. Yeah. Hmm? You may come across something else, right. but that doesn't mean that you haven't learned that experience hmm. about crossing that hurdle yes. particularly. So these shoulds that we grow up with, right. you know, uh, in our society right. at large, and I'm not just talking of India, hmm. I'm talking of Every these expectations right. that are heaped upon us yes. by our environment, families, schools, uh, the way you see your religion, elders, right? Yeah, yeah, religion as well. Uh, we don't examine any of that. Hmm. They go unexamined right. until we hit a obstacle. Right. Yeah, and then how do we deal with that obstacle? Hmm. The way we've dealt with before. Right. Programming, yeah? Yeah. 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 So, I'll give you a small example about how programming is created. Hmm. Yeah. Say Abhimanyu is um, six years old hmm. and he is playing ball in school. Right. Yeah. And uh, there are teams to play football right. and he's learning how to handle the ball. Right. And uh, as he starts playing, hmm. he can't hit the ball. Right. As well as his companions expect him to. Right. And so uh, he tries again hmm. and again he misses it hmm. and he doesn't kick it hard enough right. and he doesn't catch it right. the way he should. Right. So his companions get impatient hmm. and then the words begin that right. Abhimanyu, you are lousy at this. You suck. You, uh, you, yeah, you whatever. <laughs> and you're, you're, you, uh, we don't want you in our right. team and whatever it is. Right. So poor little Abhimanyu who's right. just learning how to play ball right. now is Hugely stressed. Right. He gets away from the field. Mm. He picks up his big heavy bag, which right. kids <laughs> talk <laughs> about six it. Not anymore. Like right. Kids don't pick that anymore. But yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't. Yeah. So he comes home and right. he's still thinking about that. Sure. That hasn't because that has been a wound. Yes. He is not 
acceptable yes the way he is right. he needs to be he should have been able to do that right yeah, yeah. so he still got that should and mm. that's creating a lot of stress mm. he comes home and he drops his bag on the table right. and there's a jug of water or right. something and the water drops right and the jug falls and right. breaks and his mother yells from right. the other from the kitchen right. that abhimanyu you are so clumsy right why can't you do things the way you're told to <laughs> yeah you should have been able to see that jug yeah, yeah. reinforcement mm. that little abhimanyu yeah. has a little image of himself right. that says i'm not good at football hmm. so what's he going to do he's going to avoid football yes yeah, yeah. so we learn to avoid hmm. these things that we feel right. or these events or situations people right. that we feel are going to cause us stress hmm. natural no right nobody wants to have stress in their lives right. or encounter situations that have fear so we avoid them So mm-hmm. these avoidances build up over a period of right. time and now Abhimanyu says that I don't like sports. Mm. You know, I'm just not the sporty type. Right. I'll right. write instead. Right. right. Yeah. And now he's joined this company and there's a football match. Right. In the company. Right. And that day he'll say, you know, I I I have a headache. Right. Oh, I have a stomach ache and mm. I just won't come to work today. Right. Yeah. This is just a small example about how this programming it grows you know, and it stays it grows yeah. and stays and dominates the choices we make absolutely yes you know the lives that we live right. the relationships that we choose right. so how important is parenting when it comes to this because at that time 7 years when you are 7 years of it five, is everything right because that's the only the institution you have right so when people come right. a lot of times right uh wanting to help their children right i work with them hmm. i do not it. see the child yeah, before the parent has yes. taken some assistance right herself or himself for example abhimanyu came home had a shitty day at football field right yeah he sat in front of his mother and then if the mother saw that okay there's something wrong with the kid let's talk about it rather than yell at the kid for the jug or whatever the way you told the story right so when if she sits or the father sits and tells you that it's okay go again tomorrow yeah. and try harder that helps right yeah that helps absolutely right so that awareness that i keep talking about right. see parents never went to parenting school yeah where did parents learn how to be parents they're being spontaneous it's they're not learning. a fault yeah <laughs> There's no shame there's no blame in this. Right. It's an education. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I am in the field of education. Yes. I don't want to call it psychology because of the stigma yeah. that's attached to yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. But I think it is equally if not more important to have an emotional education mm. than it is to build up your body. Right. or to be able to get an academic more grade important. it's more important see? than that yes. because if you don't have that yeah. since we are living in a feeling world yes. you know uh feelings are what we have in common yeah. each of us yeah i mean the guy in timbuktu and me yeah. we both feel disappointment <laughs> yeah or we both feel delight right you know or we both have uh, a sense of guilt right you know the same way yeah you know that is what we have in common mm. yes and that is how important it is to be educated right you know uh and that is why i think that emotional education right. or emotional intelligence as they call it now yes. you know is getting as popular because finally we are being able to accept yes that we are primarily emotional beings mm. you know and without learning how emotion is caused what we can do hmm. to change that yeah. and make a new choice yes. you know it's uh, you're stuck hmm. you know we're sabotaging all that uh, potential that we have inside of us right you know and uh, which is dominated by uh, the the beliefs that we've uh programmed within ourselves since childhood, uh, yes. since childhood. Yes. 
Yeah. So the difference is that you do not in the work I do, you do not have to regurgitate right. and go through any painful right. experiences. Right. You are making different choices right. for yourself. N- n- not something like past life regret. No, regret. no. This is the life I have. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah. What do I need to go into my past for? Yeah. I may go into a past event to right. relook at it, right. but to be able to see right. that what else was there? Hmm. That you the made. choices I did not make. Yes. <laughs> because, because I wasn't able to at yeah. that time. Yes. But today I can. Hmm. I'm not three years old now. Yep. My memory might be stuck there, yeah. but to get it unstuck. Right. Is what I do. Yes. So the term that I'm using mm. is defuse. All right. When an event happens right. and there's that much stress, right. there's a lot of heat yes. that's generated. Right. Yeah? yeah, like two when you weld two, so, uh, melody, you know, so ores yeah. together. Right. Yeah, uh, they become one. Yeah, the same thing happens right. in our neuro- neurological process. Mm. When an event happens that has that much trauma, right. that the senses that we have, each of our senses, whether it's our sight, our hearing, our smell, our speech and everything is connected to that. So defusing that is the work that Mm. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Taking away the stress and separating these two events and emotions to be able to put something in its place Mm. that you choose today. Right. What would you choose now if you could? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That is reprogram. Free will. Yes. And it's done very gently. Hmm. There is nothing that is forced. Right. Yeah. You follow the client. Right. You don't lead the client. Yes. The, in your videos, I saw uh, you were I, I'm, the way your stuff works. Right? Yeah. I'm still very ignorant about that. But uh, there were there was this guy uh, who he had his hand on a woman's forehead, right? And this woman was in tears. Mm. Like it was more like you know uh, yeah. catharsis. You're, like, you know, you're visiting that, and sometimes you cry, and sometimes you laugh, and sometimes you uh, right. you know you do what comes naturally. That was very you know I could actually connect to it. It's not like. I am carrying certain baggage that I want to let it out. But it was something really real. Whatever I was looking at, right? That woman was crying in tears. It's not like the guy told her something, right? No. She just felt something and she just started crying. All he is telling her is what the body is saying. Hmm. Is saying, would that, you know, what could have happened for you to feel like that? Right. Or when were you feeling this way? This is what the body is saying. Do you relate with that? That's all I ask. Yeah. Do you relate with that? Yeah. And they say, oh yeah, you know, this happened or that happened. Or maybe they don't even connect the first time. Hmm. Another thing which I want to make absolutely clear is that why we stay away from any kind of therapeutic work, the normal kind of psychotherapy, yeah. is that it takes forever. You need to be with your therapist for months and years and you just carry on and on and on and on. And people become dependent, right? Them. That too, yeah. that too. But this, I require three to four sessions from you. Right. Because it's your body and mm. that's the truth. Yeah, it's like it's like you're saying that I can't emphasize enough on it. Like, you know, it's you at the end of the day. You know? Yeah, yeah but to discover that, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't you you can't just sit and think about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You need Makes something, sense, yes. right. some knowledgeable hmm. information, right. which your body is already right. impacted with. Right. But you need some method in order to get that hmm. file out of there. It's just like a computer. Hmm. You know, there's a lot of memory in your computer. Right. But what is the point if you don't know how to use your keyboard? Right. How are you going to get to that file? Right. So we are finding the file. We are editing, deleting, and reprogramming mm-hmm. that file. Yeah? Yeah. With my facilitation only. Right. You are doing the work. Right. I'm just showing you how it's done. Right. And you're doing it in front of me. Right. Then I recheck what happened right. with this neurological balance that has been brought about. Mm. Uh, with your ability to see the same thing in a completely new way. 
Absolutely. Yes. Yeah? yeah. That takes away the stress that you have felt for so long. Right. Yeah. Now you can put something in its place mm. from your own desire. Yeah. Your own imagination. You know, your own unfulfilled wish. Tell me about your programs, like, uh, you know, what are you coming up with? I read something about, uh, something called Brain Yoga. See, so what are you, like, you know, up to nowadays? Well, I am, I have started to see people. Right. Again. Like personally, privately, not, personally. not online. One to one, all one right. to one. All right. Yeah. Because as you say, you know, as, as I say, this is my method. Yeah. My USP is to test the body. Yes. And to not make any educated guess about yeah. my client. Yeah, yeah. And for that, I need... A person, yeah. you know, I physical need a presence. one-to-one yes. physical presence. Right. Um, so I have started that again, right. and uh, of course, maintaining enough social distance in a way, yes. and still with you know the security of the mask and right. and all of that. Uh, and then I am doing these short workshops right. online, uh-huh. which introduce. Um, an aspect of the work hmm. in one there are so many aspects to the work right. like i am doing uh, the yoga of emotions yes you know to be able to uh, share with you uh, that wherever life has given us hmm. hostility yeah. it has also given us enthusiasm yes. where life has given us fear right. it has also given right. us assurance right. you know Wherever life has given us guilt, hmm. it has also given us equality. Right. Yeah. And to be able to know that that exists within you and to experience it. Right. It's an experience. Yes. Why I say yoga of right. emotions? Because you have to, you have to live it. Yes. You know, I can't tell you, I can't emphasize enough with my words, what an experience can do to you. Mm. Once you experience something, it's yours. I can't take it away from you. And it again comes down to the cellular level, right? There it is. Yes. There it is. We are ourselves. Right. And these cells are alive. Yes. And they're alive with memory. Yes. Yeah. To be able to ignore that Mm. is... Loss. It's a loss. It's It's a a loss. loss. Yes. It's a loss. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, that in that sense, it is very different, hmm. you know, the therapy itself. Right. First, all I'm looking for is three to four sessions hmm. to actually experience the difference within yourself. Right. You can do that for yourself. Right. Each one of us uh, owes it to ourselves. Right. Yeah. To be able to come to that place of choice within us. Hmm. Actually, it's a birthright, this choice, yes. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And the metaphysics part of it, because I am a metaphysical sure. counselor, is because we are born from choice. Hmm. We don't just drop into this world. Yes. We choose hmm. that genetic heritage. Right. We choose this life experience. Right. And if I have chosen it, then why shirk away from it? Yeah. Let's learn to live it. Let's learn to thrive. Right. You know. Um, and that is a learning. Yes. It's a skill. It's a learnable skill. Right. We can learn it. Yes. It's just that we don't have it as a subject anyway. So then life says, hey, you're the lucky one. Let me give you <laughs> yeah. uh, some stress. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you a relationship failure. Right. Let me give you a tight whack on your bottom. Right. You know, throw you on the floor. Right. Now get up again. Right. How will you get up? Hmm. It's yeah? a lesson. Yes. It's fantastic. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. It, I, I, and I'm sure it takes some guidance or someone experience or some you know life experience to actually think like that. Okay, shit has gone down. Now how to get up? It, it takes responsibility. Yes. My ability to respond. Right. I break up the word. Into. Responsibility. It's yeah. my ability to respond. Right, right. Shit happens and yeah. it's going to. Yes. That's the stuff of life. Yeah. I can't control anything out there, but I can certainly control how I'm going to look at it. So no matter what, I am working on your your perception. Right. You know, I am tweaking your ability to see. 
right. things differently. Do you think it's very uh, you know it's prevalent nowadays that people are looking for positive people are, they're looking for it a lot like they always because want, the stress is so heavy they always want to stay positive and they're saying it out loud positivity yes. for hashtag positivity yes. positive vibes positive vibes. fine you are positive but it's like they are imposing it on others as well like but, look uh, I am positive doesn't make sense is it natural no it's not my sitting in a corner in my room and. Uh, you know uh, doing a mantra that's going yeah. to work hmm. until i go there yeah and i defuse that right. stress right. it still remains superficial right. the next time there is stress in right. my life right. i will again be 3 years old right yes, yes. Yeah? yeah it's like i'm trying to fix hmm. a headache yeah but i'm not changing the way i eat yes i'm going to have a kilo of chocolate yes and then i'm going to say why do i have the headache yeah. every time i have the headache <laughs> i'm going to take my crocin right. and the headache goes away right. but i quickly go and have some more chocolate yeah yeah, yeah. that is called responsibility right. Not the same so thing. in effect what i do is bloodless brain surgery wow yes yes i do yeah that is what i'm doing yeah, yeah? only thing i'm not doing it i'm showing you how to do bloodless brain surgery yourself right because if i do it hmm. you have to come back to me right every time to yeah. feel better yes this way you don't need me anymore like crossing that yeah. is liberation yeah. that is freedom absolutely yes wow yeah, yeah. you may forget yeah. because we are forgetful beings hmm. if we didn't forget we would see ourselves as the energy machines that we are yeah yeah the pure light that we are yes yeah we would see ourselves yes. like that but it's because we don't right. and we want this human experience mm. so we drop here into this three dimensional reality of matter space and right. time right and then emotions is the package deal mm. <laughs> yep yeah? and without emotions what the hell is going on anyway <laughs> yeah yeah i think we're just moving yeah. yeah emotion is energy yes Yes, and I'm because pure. we are in this energetic hmm. space of three dimensional ah. reality yeah. we still have the awareness or we can learn the skill right. of intention okay yeah energy follows intention right yes yeah Do you understand that? I'm, I'm, What I'm do you think it is? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to grasp. It is. It's phenomenal right. to be able to understand right. that what I intend right. has energy and far beyond right. what I realize. Right. So check your intention. You know, in communication, right. in my daily tasks. So we are people. talking thought uh, on like we are just talking thoughts right now. We are not talking action right now. We are just talking intention right now. I am right? saying that is the basic level. Right. Yeah. Right. Like uh there are many levels of uh, that tra- consciousness that transcribes huh? into actions eventually, right? But yeah. intention as in like you'll have to explain a little more that, you know, how does it affect my life if my intentions are like pre-programmed? Your intention is can be if I mean subconsciously subconsciously it is pre-programmed right. because that it is controlled by the belief system right. but awareness when awareness comes in right. and i sh- and i share with you this thing that i mean you you know what this is another possibility did mm. you ever think of it like mm. this yeah right, right. now let's experience this in your body right All now right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah that becomes a real experience mm. for you yeah the next time you encounter the same situation right you know your a bell will go off in your head right. and you will red flag yeah, yeah you will see oh maybe i could now you may do it or you may not mm. Mm? but it comes with practice as yes. with anything else yes yeah you do it and you do it and you do it mm. and you become good at it yes why because it's worth it mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's worth that right yeah we are here for a very short while yeah. you know in this life you know we all need to decide which way do i want to live mm. how do i want to this experience to be right you know and it's a game this life why don't i see it like that why do i make it so serious and stressful i don't know yeah i do because that that's yeah. the way we were programmed to. yeah yeah it's a movie actually it is it is yes you know the way i see mm. any experience 
is a movie. Right. It's my movie. Yes. I am the director of that movie. I am the actor. Yes. I am the actor yes. or a bit player, whatever <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> yeah. You know, I am even the casting director. Sure. I am choosing these jokers in my life, <laughs> and then I am wondering why the hell, why the hell they appeared. Hey. <laughs> yes. I magnetize <laughs> them. Yes. <laughs> you know. Now the way I wish to look at them is entirely in my control. Yes. I can learn how to see it differently. Mm. And that is the education I'm talking about. You know, it's a very, very necessary education. And so we come to the point that any problem hmm. is never the problem. Yeah. It's the way I feel about it. Right. That's the problem. Right. Hmm? That's the underlying basis of my work. Right. Yeah. Ask me a question. I am kind of overwhelmed right now with all the information that I've gathered anything that you want to share like you know besides besides this what do you do besides kinesiology and healing people how does your day go by when you feel like chilling if i may um i a lot fascinates me right. a lot of learning fascinates right. me i love to learn how uh, the world of science is looking at emotion for instance mm. you know so i yes in the same field right yeah but i do uh, i do want to discover right you know many new uh, methods that people are using around the world in in order to um, you know help people live a sure. better life sure. you yeah. know uh, emotionally healthy right. uh, why just emotions but um you know physically mentally intellectually you know and spiritually yes of course you know? yeah. so uh, a lot of my interest hmm. is focused on that right how does my day go by um i'm quite involved with my my clients of course. as well yeah. yeah then another part uh, of my uh, life is um a scholarship program yes, that right. um my family has right. started i do run that program uh, it was started because we wanted to um we wanted to um you know focus uh young people's attention and academic interests mm -hmm. in science pure science right. itself uh our guides for the uh, uh, scholarship program Uh, suggested that um, we that a lot of our youngsters are going uh, a lot of the great minds that are involved with science right. are leaving india hmm. they do much better when they travel abroad right. so why not focus on keeping uh, giving science a um, more uh, support hmm. a financial support right. as well right. um, and um, giving young people incentives mm. that make them uh, want to choose science as a as a career right, option right so we wanted to focus on rural maharashtra mm. and uh, primarily girls right so we started this with just 16 students okay about 12 years ago right. and now we are supporting about 100 and 20, how old are they 30. when they start uh they have just finished their schooling okay. 12th right. and they're going in for bsc first year right to so it's important for them to have a science stream yeah you're not picking just like this my this person might have a knack for it no you know? no they are already there they've already taken admission right, right. in first uh, year of hmm. a, any of the science subjects right. and then they go through the the bachelors and they go through masters right. and a lot of them go for phd's right and um, uh when i say primarily girls because right. girls are not supported in indian families where Especially they want to do I science yeah. you know um so that's the support we give them uh then a lot of boys have come in also because they are just so such uh, meritorious students you right. know they are and um, they are from the villages of maharashtra right. where they don't really have much uh, possibility or definitely no financial hmm. support so uh, we not only 
uh, pay for their education, but we have a mentorship program right, right. with them. Yes. With that, so each child has mm. a mentor. Yeah. So good. I have about fifty odd. Uh, mentors, mentors okay. that work along with me, right. and um, we also uh, have our alumni now. Okay. The kids who have okay. uh, passed on, right. they have become mentors it's to been these a while children. Yeah, yeah, it's been about twelve years. 12 years. This is our thirteenth right. year. Yeah, so that is another thing that keeps me uh, busy. That, that's that's and. A, uh, yeah, you know, this is a beautiful setup. Yes. Yeah, but to be able to, we have workshops for these kids every month. Right. You know, wherever they are. Now it's all online. Mm. But we have leadership programs what for them. What is the them. foundation called? Uh, Malhotra Wakefield Foundation. Mm. Wakefield. That's our company. Right. Wakefield. Yes. And as a family, my name is Malhotra, so uh, that's our foundation. So we do a lot of science-based uh, scholarships around the country as well. Okay. Um, we support uh, nanotechnology in many of right. the science colleges um, and mm, you know research in many fields where kids are not able to support themselves. Right. A lot of our students have gone abroad to study mm. in Canada mm. and in Europe. Right. Um, so that's very gratifying to see that uh, a child who had uh, whose father was a, um, a stone crusher on the road yeah. making a stone yeah. and both his parents were not educated yeah. at all. He is a researcher in a university in Canada. It's mean? fabulous. <laughs> yeah. It's fabulous to see these kids do it's that. Amazing. Yes. You know, so that keeps me pretty occupied. That is, I mean, I'm sure you didn't. Yeah, what else? I'm, uh, uh, creativity really, um, gets me going right. gets gets me going right from it's the, dual at the end the morning, of the day creativity you know? is still, so then yeah. i'm creating new yeah. ways to express myself hmm. you know whether it is through um, charts or pictures right. or uh, a new workshop that also brings me to please have a podcast of you i <laughs> want you to because you have that voice and you back it up with you know awesome stuff you should, you should. Yeah, Definitely. I'm looking for someone. So I'm putting it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who wants to uh, I, I, I'll help get me do... If I ever uh, find someone professional, I'll get podcast. you in touch. You should go out yeah. there. there are s- so, and these are like everyday things, you know, like the stuff of life. We all yeah. go through, yeah. you know, so many different um, uh, experiences in the day, Yeah, you know, which can plunge us. Right into the depths of despair yeah. and uh, the stress mounts. Right. You know, if I have a method to balance myself mm. and if I can train myself right. or when I can train myself right. to look for where's the lesson in this. Right. You know, that's where metaphysics right. comes in. Where's yes. the lesson in this? Yes. Uh, I instantly come to choice again. Mm. And that is truly liberating. Yes, of course. Isn't it? Uh, what else do I tell you? I would like to ask mm. that, um, you know, it's, uh, it's... So, for example, someone is secure financially, right? Mm. And then the person, he or she chooses this path that I'm going to be a life coach and mm. I'm going to tell people. Mm. What about... So is it possible for someone who isn't destitute but you know is struggling in life will people take him seriously like you know he has his job or you know he's doing stuff jiska sara din yahi kaam chal raha hai ki mere ko survive kaise karna hai apni family ko feed kaise karna hai do you think people will take that person seriously if he goes out in the world and says that i'm a life coach listen my life was like this blah 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 like what i really want to ask is that does it does this ability to impart this knowledge come from a security that you know I'm fine at my business level and I can do this well you know life for, for uh, I, I must say that um, it's not something that uh, is going to mint you millions right yeah yeah but it takes a certain uh, as I said it takes a certain sincerity it takes a certain um, you know, a, 
a certain desire hmm. to have that uh, to have that uh, you know ability to share right. uh, with another right. uh, what could uplift them hmm. in some manner yeah it's funny that you ask that because i met a young man the other day right and it's amazing because this lady who i met uh, she's my she's the one who uh, washes my hair right. in the salon right, right right so it's not she's not a, a very fancy uh, a hairdresser or anything hmm. she just washes my hair she's right. a help in a salon right, right. and her husband right. uh, is the one who i went to meet right. because she told me about what he's doing hmm. so he has a, a a small job in a company as a peon right yeah he's uh, and that's his income right and she works as well so they both support their right. house with a dual income but with that small amount of money hmm. in the evenings when he comes back hmm. he gathers all the kids right in the uh chol or oh, wherever oh, they oh, stay all right, all right, all yeah right. and all the dropouts right. from school right. all the kids who are uh unhappy in their homes mm. or who show any sign of disturbance right so he gathers them and he spends the evening with them you know whether they play games mm. whether he just talks to them right. whether he shows them a movie right. whether he reads to them right. or whatever right it's a hangout place right. that he's created right. so what does that show you i know people are beautiful i want <laughs> to have a desire to do that right i want to step away from my self absorption right for a little while yeah. and i want to say hey guys this is possible <laughs> yeah to do yeah yeah so i think that it does come from that though i must admit that i did not start there hmm i was wanting to help myself and right. my ailment right was limiting my life right. to such an extent hmm. where i didn't think that i would ever be normal hmm yeah i hmm. did see myself as a victim so sure. yeah yeah now when i started to get better myself right because i ventured hmm. to learn hmm. yeah it certainly wasn't easy sure my yes. self image was down to my toes it takes courage yes yeah it takes courage hmm. to go on this path yes. yes it does but you have to have suffered that much a lot of times yes. it doesn't have to yeah. but that's a great motivator hmm. pain is a great yes. motivator yes the best you know people call love a motivator no yeah pain is a great motivator <laughs> yeah. so in that sense i think i'm very fortunate right that i did have um uh you know a lot of people do tell me that oh yeah it's easy enough for you to say because exactly this is not your bread and butter you right. don't care what you right. earn That's from it really it doesn't really matter yeah yeah but i could have done many other things right i could have spent my time traveling and shopping and yeah i could have why not indulgence in that right? yeah of yeah. some sort of the yeah. other yeah but i didn't no. because i thought that hey if i can do it yeah someone else can do it right and if i feel this yeah there are many out there and who it feel shows the let same. me tell you it shows when i sit with you i feel that yeah it, there are many out there that feel what i feel right yeah so if i can come to that point of mm. turn around right where as you said you must have bad days right i can't name those now sure because it just immediately it is with a thought right that hey what are you doing yeah <laughs> yeah you know where's the choice here yeah. is this the best you could right. do the red flag yes you know immediately right and so it's i am preserving that mm. energy within me right which is where, what i can share with somebody right. else you know and um, i am not giving myself any great um, uh you know shabash or anything but i do feel that we need to uh acknowledge the mm. steps that we are taking towards yes. our own growth yes you know if we don't acknowledge it for ourselves yeah. i don't think that anyone out there can mm. do the same for us no no you know so i need to accept right 
the that will yeah towards the courage that yeah. i have taken in order to right. help myself right uh and i keep saying that we are magnetic yeah so when i put an intention out there mm. that this is what i want mm. to do right you find people the support right. existence right supports me right will send me an abhimanyu yeah. that i can talk <laughs> yeah. to agreed you know yeah it takes me to put that intention, intention out. out there yes. Yeah. Now I get it. Yes. And then a little pat on the back from myself to myself. I do that to myself. It's great. That, that's how I celebrate my little victories. Yeah. I I physically do that to myself yeah. when I'm alone. And I no teach that, by the way. Really? I get my clients to do this physically. I said, "Chalo, chalo." Yeah. Tum I do that. Karoge, to kaun <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I chose this instead of this. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Fantastic. You know. Yes. I chose reliability hmm. instead of discouragement. Right. You know, instead of being self-punishing. Yeah. That I was doing. Yeah. Totally victimized. Mm. You know, nothing to help myself. Right. No way. Living in penance for except yeah. up now. Right. Uh I have discovered that there is something mm. that can give me a sense of Balance. equality. Yeah. I'm equal to this challenge right. that life has given me right yes i need to get off my ass and do something about sure. it sure you know or get kicked in the butt a lot <laughs> which one do you like some people begin to like that kick in the butt yeah they get and they stay there massacre but you know what <laughs> where's the rush yeah it's we are a continuum right you know all i'm saying is that you don't have to have a crisis yeah <laughs> in your life to get better yeah why so, should you go over the edge self inflicted crisis to be precise right yeah. it's all self inflicted yeah. anyway you know but that's not the only reason mm. for us to seek wellness right to seek a better life mm. kapish that was amazing yeah was amazing. well i loved it too yeah. perfect that's great